The father of UK hostage John Cantley has appealed for him to be released to those he loves and who love him. The journalist, who was kidnapped in Syria in 2012 and is being held by Islamic State, is, militants, has so far appeared in three videos. Paul Cantley said he felt great relief at seeing his son for the first time in two years, but also experienced despair and helplessness. His family has been trying to deliver an important message to us, he added. The videos have all followed the same format, with John Cantley, who is originally from Hampshire, appearing sitting at a desk against a black backdrop to address the camera. In the most recent, released earlier this week, he delivered a scripted message mocking the U.S. strategy of using airstrikes combined with local ground forces. At the end of the five-and-a-half-minute film, he indicated there will be further messages. There are no signs of violence in the videos but, in the first, Mr. Kenley made clear he was speaking as a prisoner whose life was in danger. His father said, for the first time in almost two years, we saw John when he made a televised broadcast during which he told viewers that he was still a prisoner of the Islamic State and that maybe he will live and maybe he will die. As a family we experienced great relief seeing and hearing John and knowing that he is alive. This was followed by the feeling of despair and helplessness. He said when his son was captured in northern Syria while working as a photojournalist, he was seeking out the true story of the suffering of the Syrian people. John felt a strong need to help in the best way that he could, said his father. As an impartial and respected journalist he knew that he could make a difference by acting as a platform for the world to listen to and take notice, using his journalistic skills for the good of the people, as a friend and as a civilian. The Cantley family is trying to communicate with us to deliver an important message regarding John but has yet to receive a response, said his father. In a direct message to the militants, he said, to those holding John, please know that he is a good man, he sought only to help the Syrian people and I ask you from all that is sacred, to help us and allow him to return home safely to those he loves and who love him. He said his family had received 